Hey guys, I don't know how I'm going to do this, but I wanted to make this a very quick video and then at the end I'll show you the results because I don't have a lot a lot of time to charge. So, I'm going to be curling my locks. Pretty sure that's why you're here. And I wear wigs over my locks. I wear a lot of things over my locks. I lock my hair um and these are an extension like my hair is maybe up to here at this point and then well you know they're all different well they're all the same length but you know because of where they are on my head but you can see my grays um this is my natural hair i um just washed it i do have a lot of gray um and i embrace my gray but so what i'm gonna do is show you how i curl my locks i am a natural hair stylist i've been braiding for over 30 years and i do a lock extensions i do regular locks and all that i had the big afro and I don't think I know I didn't leave one I wanted to leave one um because like my hair ends like right about here and I know I love this look of curling them and I love the look of them just being wild and over to the side and I want them to be a little longer so not all of them are the same some of them I spent extended them longer some of them are shorter so yeah and then I just got the side shaved off but let's not ramble because I need to show you how I like how I um curl mine now this is different i ordered this lot of body several months ago on amazon along with this custard stuff um because i got this for rizzy to do like twist outs and this for my locks now i used to use another type of stuff let me show you we don't have much time this here i still love this stuff but you know i'm always evolving and trying to find other things that um are good for and has like natural things in it that are good for your locks so I still use this this is my baby this is what I use on my clients um and along with my natural oils and stuff so yeah I still use this um but this is new to me so this will be my first time using a lot of body with coconut and shea oils wrap foaming mousse so that's what I'm going to be doing it's very simple um I these flexi rods are okay but I like the old school these old school curl rods you remember the jury curl rods I like these so I'm going to show you how I do it. It's very simple. I need me some new ones because a lot of my things done came off. And I just take, for me, oh my gosh, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I think my paper. And I got these from Amazon as well. So I use wrapping papers. Why? Because I like to do two. And so they don't unravel. I like to um, put the wrapping paper. So I put mousse. Got to do this fast. Put mousse along the whole shaft of the lock like so. Then I take a wrapping paper and I just bind the tips like that. And then I take me a rod and I roll it really tight from the base of the rod up like this. This is exactly what I do. Just like that. And even if it overlaps, that's fine. And I take it and I pin it down. And that is how I roll them. I'm going to roll some more. My thing is getting ready to come out. And I'll be back. I mean, it's getting ready to run out. So I'm going to do um, these last ones on camera. And then you guys are going to see the finished product. I'm going to leave these in overnight. Um, so yeah, put the mousse on. Sometimes they might be a little... Not, not the same height so that's another reason why these papers help to keep them together and then you put the roller at the base and you tightly roll it on top of each other and then you start to like spiral it on the actual roller like this and you want to get it as close to your head as possible and then you snap the thing like that my grays are ridiculous, but <laughs> not ridiculous, but okay. So it's going to probably be one by itself. So yeah, I'll put some more on here. Camera. I got to get rid of some stuff or either change the SD card. I got a brand new one that's huge. I just don't know if I want to use it in the camera or my phone. And then just roll, 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 roll. Row. 
the last two. Just tightly roll, hold, one hand holds them, tightly roll. And that's, it's really simple. And that's how I do my locks. Get you some mousse and I washed them so they were washed and then um, just put the mousse of your choice on there. Now you can let it sit overnight or you can sit under dry. If you have some place to go and you want to wear it today, you can sit on dry. But I'm going to sit them overnight so we'll be back so you can see the finished product. Okay, so I got this head wrap thingy from Amazon. It's like a do-rag with long tails or whatever. It was like $4. Really good still. I was going to keep it at first. I'm like, wait a minute. I know I can utilize this for some of the hairstyles that I do. So I just put it on like this. Hold on, yeah. And I hold it down tight as I can. Then I bring the tails around to the front. And tie them into a bow. And this is how I will sleep. And it secure them. Now... If your hair is really wet, like I wash mine, but I have my, I had my turby twist and it wrung out um, a lot of the wetness from, this is kind of really wet, the wetness from the locks. So um, then I put the mousse on, but if you don't want that feeling of that wetness on your head, take a blow dryer, just go over it just a little bit and then put your choice of bonnet or whatever. I like when I, when I um, do my curls, I like for them to be secured i don't like them rolling around my head at night like that so this right here is perfect and so i'll sleep on this and i still can lay without a problem it doesn't hurt or anything like that you can also do sponge rollers but i just find um the the curling rods much better so yeah let's see how it looks tomorrow all right guys bye it's done guys so yeah I um I actually left these in for two days, so just wanted to share with you what they look like. As they get um you wear them, I can literally this style will last a couple weeks. Like they just continue to drop. So when I first do them, I unravel them and put pins in them. So I have about four pins in them in different places. But yeah, that's the way it looks. That's the way it looks, and I love it. I love it. I feel it's elegant. It's different. It's natural. It's giving that that ethnic vibe afrocentric vibe um i love them so yeah that's that i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was helpful to you to lock to curl your locks um extensions or natural locks these are actual natural locks with an extension on them but you can dye them curl them do everything you can do with a natural lock and some people don't want to go through the baby stages you know the baby stages of which my hair was pretty long it's about that long on top and it's thick so and as you can see you can see the roots my roots are, i have thick hair i just didn't want to go through the baby stages so this was my choice um i may change them i may take them out and do something different and let myself go through that process i've seen people do that where they've had extensions took them out and did something different with them but to each his own and you do what's best for you and what makes you happy because that's all that matters so with that being said make sure you join my family by hitting that subscribe button Make sure you hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I load a new video. And make sure you thumbs up and share the channel with others. And if nothing else, I will see you guys later, kids.